All right, this is The Sims in a World of Warships random battle. We are in a tier five, six, and seven match. We have a sub and a CV. Six battleships, one cruiser, and three destroyers, of which I am high tier for my team. Battle starts. This is standard battle. The team that takes the other team's cap automatically wins immediately. Otherwise, you're going to do your best to sink everybody on the other team. I have the support of a uh, tier 7 Nagato. I am assuming that I'm going to have uh, the other tier 7 DD, the Shiratsu, coming down my side, assuming that everything is symmetrical, but I don't know that that's how it's going to work out. I'm going to try to go wide and spot some things for my teammates. Give them something to shoot at without getting shot at myself. There's no radar. I think the Graf Spee has hydro. It does have torps does have very large guns for its tier. It is such a tough ship that it was banned from the tier 6 clan battles last summer. We have the tier 6 Farragut. My guns are pretty decent, pretty fast loading guns, and they hit hard enough, so we'll see how we do. Oh, he grounded himself. Probably not in his best interest. He is trying to smoke up. I'm just going to keep shooting at that same spot where he was. I think he's still stuck there. Yep. I'm hitting something. Keep shooting. Oh, good. Enemy destroyer blown up. Uh huh. Off to a great start. First blood. Always good when the other team's DD goes down before one of ours. Okay, now we have a Bayern coming toward us. That is a tier 6 battleship. German battleship. I really like the Bayern. Fortunately, at tier 6, it does not get hydro. Still has decent secondaries for its tier. I have 6.7 detection, so... I'm pretty safe from it now that I got the DD out of the way. Okay, one torp got flooding. Smoke generator That's my signal to tuck into some smoke and shoot some HE at them. See if I can light a perma fire or two on him. I 
I have 10.5k range on my torps and very decent reload. I think it's only about 70 seconds, 76 seconds. Him and one set of torps and his buddy that's coming over this way. down. Now the enemy Nagato is going to take all of my torps. Oh goodness sakes. He knew I was here and he's sailing broadside to me. That was just an open invitation. He's lucky I wasted one set on that. Our team is By your or else he'd be down. This on fire. Okay, we're just gonna hug the boundary up here. Dense around my detectability range. Just keeping his guns more or less pointed my way. There, now they're pointing away. I can get away with a couple shots here. There you go. Oh, oh it's just overshoot. A little more lead. A little more lead. There you go. Enemy battleship foundered. Our team has taken the lead. Ship is ready. Okay, full health New Mexico going to give our ships a lot of trouble. You could take out the Aoba and the Graf and that Julio Cesar in a hurry and then we'll be in big trouble. I'm shooting to distract him. I'd rather not take any serious shots from him now. SDD shell arcs are so hard to aim with, but on the other hand, they can get over those islands. Now oh, here comes the ranger to hassle me. Torpedoes, direct front. Okay. 
Okay. Guess that's all he had. Nice thing about Ranger is he only gets two sets of torps per run at you, so. Okay. It was the destroyer that ended up getting our Julio Cesar. I don't have any idea where that sub is. Not a destroyer, it was a submarine. And something is in our cap. That is a serious oh crap situation. Okay, I don't have anybody over there that can do anything about it, except our little submarine. And it looks like he has a Jaguar over there. It seems to be the Jaguar that's capping. Just doing my best to speed boost past this New Mexico and hope we had guns turned the other way because Smoke I've got to get over to our cap or else we could lose the game in a hurry. Got a couple torps into him, but no flooding, darn it. Sooner or later, he was the going to. The ship is on to. fire. Smoke screen set. Okay. I am being pinged by a submarine. From where? I have no idea. I did not catch the direction of that ping. Okay, fires out. Problem solved, sir. Neutralize the ping for now. Mexico's still coming from behind me. I like to try to get torps into that smoke, but eh. it would not be good to get caught grounded right here. I need to get up there and do something with the Jaguar. Oh, good. Our Eagle was able Engine to take out their aircraft carrier, so I won't have that to deal with. Looks like there's a sub on my right. I've got to deal with Jaguar. He's the one capping, so I'm sure we have, but can't do anything about him. I'll have to deal with him later if I live through this. Jaguar first. There. Okay. Oh. Our team has taken the lead. Bad spot here. I had to focus on the Jaguar, but torpedoes to port. This is not good. Torpedoes to port. Not Torpedoes good at all. Good. Okay, well, I did get a Confederate out of that, so we'll see how the rest of the team does. As long as that sub can't get in here and take our cap. Looks like our Eagle in New Mexico are fighting the King George over at their cap. We have two New Mexicos over there. Looks like all of my team is over there and one sub by itself over here. The New 
New Mexico that I was dinging up is heading back over to try to prevent our team from taking their cap, I guess. So, I don't know what he hopes to accomplish. In five minutes. He's under half health right now. King George is almost down. I did almost zero damage to the dis that submarine. In this game, destroyers are not really made to deal with subs. They're good for dealing with other destroyers and battleships. Yeah, we're, we're going to be fine. RDD is getting into their cap right now. It just lost that New Mexico. Lost the King George. So that sub is the only thing left. And our sub is hunting it. It's probably the only thing that effectively can take out submarines when they're submerged. If they come up to the surface, cruisers and even battleships can do something with them, but we can't see them, we can't fight them. Most of the time, I don't know they're there until they detect me. Then it's too late. I wish I'd gone underwater to follow our sub. That would have been kind of neat to see. And that did it.